and U97 coffee and doubles. Well, President Paula Mayweeks, it's getting serious. Ramesh Lawrence Marad, senior counsel, has written a letter, and in, some, uh, in that letter is some damning information coming out of the court about an affidavit which changes the entire picture and scope of this constitutional crisis involving the chairperson, former chairperson of the Police Service Commission, the President, Her Excellency, and possibly the Prime Minister of the country, Keith Christopher Rowley, who refuses to answer questions. So when we hear this letter, this letter I'm going to read here, released by Ramesh Lawrence Maraj and Company Attorneys at Law. It's a media release, and it states that uh, the failure by the president to submit a list of nominees for the substantive appointment of commissioner of police. Look at the heading. That heading changes the whole thing. All the time we have been saying, bliss, bliss, bliss. Somebody intercepted bliss, and bliss did not do her job. But it appears that bliss did her job because someone in a court matter put in an affidavit, according to Ramesh Lawrence Mirage, that states that bliss delivered the merit list on August 12, 2020. And if Bliss delivered it to the president, what that means is that it's not Bliss who didn't do her duty. Bliss did her duty. The chairman of the Police Service Commission did her duty. Remember, we have been operating under the assumption based on the email by Roger K. Walsing that, that the information coming from Bliss to him and all that he knew is in his mind that Bliss Sipasa, the chairman of the Police Service Commission, did not do her duty because somebody came to her and got her excited with some hearsay, some old talk, some whispering in her ears. But someone else under affidavit, under oath, signed a document. Ramesh Lawrence Mirage is saying in the interpretation claim that is before the court um, with Ravi Balgobin Mirage that the act in the office of commissioner of police right and let me get to the correct point by affidavit evidence of the director of personnel administration mr corey harrison filed in the claim on behalf of the attorney general it was disclosed that the list of nominees for the substantive appointment of commissioner of police listen carefully, was submitted to Her Excellency the President by the Police Service Commission on August 12, 2021. So Corey Harrison filed an affidavit that said the merit list was delivered to Her Excellency the President on August 12. That changes the situation drastically drastically because we have been asking bliss who talked to you was it keith rowley did the prime minister talk to you which minister intercepted you and made you not deliver the list to the president but here it is stating under oath on an affidavit by corey harrison the director of personnel administration and his affidavit was filed on behalf of the attorney general faris arawi yeah? and he said and it states, and it's in bold letters by, on this letter from senior counsel Ramesh Lawrence Mirage. It was disclosed that a list of nominees for the substantive appointment of Commissioner of Police was submitted, hear the English, was submitted to Her Excellency the President by the Police Service Commission according to the DPA's affidavit. The date of submission of the list to the president by the commission was less than two months after the date. Now, Ramesh Lawrence Mirage goes into some serious law and so on. And the president, Paula May Weeks, you can sleep no more. You must wake up. Come out of your slumber. This is a very serious allegation because a president can only be removed from office in certain instances and one of those instances is when a president fails to do their constitutional duty they, and they can it can be shown that they took a decision 
to not conform to the Constitution and not do the duty. So Ramesh, Ramesh Lawrence Mirage continues in this discussion. He says, according to Section 123.4, Her Excellency the President was under a constitutionally enshrined duty. This is not no joke. There are the words Ramesh Lawrence Maraj is saying and reading from section 123.4 of the Constitution that Her Excellency the President was under a constitutionally enshrined duty upon receiving the list of nominees from the Police Service Commission to issue a notification with respect of each nominee on the list to the House of Representatives. Section 1234, 123, Section 4 of the Constitution makes no provision, says Ramesh Lawrence Maraj, for the exercise of discretion. What does that mean? The president, whomever he or she may be, once receiving the list, has no choice but to just go with it. Cannot decide whether they like the list, rest down the list, pause the list, delay the list. Um, interfere with the list, change the list, edit the list. They have no discretion. They have to just do their constitutionally enshrined duty and deliver the list and put the nominees before the parliament. Rather than upon receipt of the list of nominees, says Ramesh Lawrence Maraj, by the commission, the president is constitutionally mandated. These are some very strong words. You see the PNM, Rowley would like to move forward. Stuart Smallpin Young would like to move forward. They say nothing to bond down the country about no big thing, no big thing. The police service commission gone, everybody resign, move on, and let's go and talk budget. Let's go and talk zero rated curry, zero rated smoke herring, and see if we can eat some lobster. No, no, no. This thing is very serious. And Paula May Weeks. I was hearing from my brother that you said something last night. I would love to know what it was you said. But you have to answer some very serious questions based on the affidavit sworn before the court of the DPA. Rather, upon receipt, right, of the list of nominees by the commission, the president is constitutionally mandated and bound to issue the notification. These are very strong words in law. These are very strong words in language. In the circumstances, the president has a duty to explain, says Ramesh Lawrence Marat, to the public, why upon receiving the list of nominees from the commission on August 12th, she elected not to perform her constitutional duty under section 123.4 of the Constitution to submit the requisite notifications to the House of Representatives for its approval. Openness, transparency, and accountability of the state to the people demand that the President gives to the public an explanation why the list of nominees was not submitted was not sent to the parliament on or around the 12th august 2021 ramesh l Maraj senior counsel so all of us now martin daly has been saying i have been saying the express has been saying kamala has been saying madam president you have to answer you have to answer but we thought it is that bliss did not give the list we thought the chairman of the service police service commission of our own volition did not do her duty the story has now changed under oath under affidavit by a witness presented in a court matter that says that bliss Pasad, but bliss Pasad, you see this is the problem with trinidad and tobago you drinking medicine for somebody else this is what kamala Pasad bisessa talked about the bishop's tea party when you are not independent because bliss Pasad. What you should have said was exactly what Corey said, that you did deliver the list, but you're taking licks and you're taking pressure and you're staying quiet to protect who? In this constitutional crisis, the protection of somebody leads to a deepening of the crisis. You were supposed to be independent. You are not to defend anybody but the Constitution and your duty, Bliss Sipasat. So Bliss Sipasat, you must come out now and say, did you do your duty and hand the president the list, deliver the list? Did you do your duty as chairman of the Police Service Commission after the Police Service Commission did all their work? You handed it to the president. 
But you see, you have a relationship, you have some closeness, and therefore you keep in secrets, as Rowley always boasts about the Cosa Nostra philosophy of the PNM. Because if you were truly independent, when you resigned, you should have told us the truth that you went there August 12th, you went to the list. Somebody, maybe even the Prime Minister Keith Rowley intercepted you, tried to tell you something. You may have gotten excited, but I did my duty. Bless the Passad, you should have said that. I gave the list to the President, so it is over to Her Excellency to explain what took place after there. I know nothing more of that. But then you also have to explain why did you conduct meetings involving a politician on the 26th, 27th, and 30th of August also. So it doesn't mean that you get off scot-free. But the, the, the real responsibility just fell on the chest of the president. So, Madam President, you come out, you jump out and attack Kamala with Camille, your bishop's tea party, and you were wrong. You have not apologized. Now, Ramesh Lawrence Maraj has put on the record by media release that you received the list and you decided to do something that you do not have the constitutional authority so to do. You use your discretion. You do not have a discretionary power. Section 123.4 says that you are mandated and bound to conduct your duty and hand over the list to the parliament. Why did you not do that? Who interfered with you? Who was by President's house? Was the Prime Minister there? What is this interlocking directorship and, and relationship in a separation of powers arrangement in our constitution? Madam President, I must say, I used to have so much respect for you. You were one of my few law classes that I went to before I decided to change course and coach swimming. Was you lecturing me on constitutional law year one LLB? You were lecturing me on constitutional law, big yellow book, so have you forgotten all of it? Did you forget to read it? The teacher has become one who does not re understand the Constitution. Madam President, with all due respect, answer, respond. These are serious allegations. You are falling into the category of Keith Rowley. You really want to be in that category. You want it to be written into the annals of history like that. Rowley, we know you won't answer because you are a scumbucket. You have no character. You are a man who treats the parliament and, and the Trinidad and Tobago like a joke that you could lie anytime you want. So we don't expect nothing from you, Keith Rowley. We expect you to keep trying to take more horny goat weed and get more pum pum. That's all we expect from you. You are totally useless, heartless, insane prime minister. You are the worst human being to ever reach prime minister. So we don't expect you to answer. But Paula May weeks. We expect more of you. It's a very sad day, a Friday, in Trinidad and Tobago. At 10 o'clock, Kamala Pasabi says, I go live. It would be live all over the place. Go on Facebook, go on Dogla Politics. Go anywhere and listen to Kamala Pasabi says, in her budget response to the Dwen, that heartless individual who pre performed and presented a budget for himself and his big financier friends and give you zero double-rated curry. Coffee and doubles. Good morning, neighbor.